Hi friends, it's Peter, and it's Sunday, May 30th. I'm posting a day late again um, because I'm on vacation. I'm in Portland, Oregon, and this week I'm talking about uh, high school. The main thing I remember from high school is uh, feeling like uh, like I couldn't be myself, um, like I had to be the person that everyone expected me to be, which meant being a straight girl. Um, I where I grew up, I didn't know any queer people. Uh, I knew one gay man who was a teacher of mine, and. Um, there was one trans person I met before college, um, but I didn't really realize it was a trans person. Um, but there was a transfer student to my high school who was this boy named Laura, and nobody could figure out why this boy's name was Laura. Um, but then it finally came out that it was really a girl, um, which explains some things. But this particular individual didn't stay long at my school, I think. Um, they were bounced around from school to school, um, not really uh, fitting in anywhere, um, which is unfortunate. But that was the sort of climate um, that I grew up in. So I felt compelled to act super feminine. I was, tr I was trying to um, put on a show uh, to distract from the fact that I felt like I was so lacking in uh, being the person I thought I was supposed to be. So I thought I'd share some pictures from that time so you can get a sense of what I mean. transitioning. Um, there's a couple friends that I've kept in touch with who know um, about all of this, but um, not really a lot of people. Um, although, I, I mean, I guess they probably see it on Facebook. Um, on Facebook, I have my girl name and the name Peter. Um, I have girl name, Peter, last name. So people from high school can still find me and everything. Um, so I don't know re really what they think when they see my pictures and things like that, but I don't really care. Um, and I don't live in my hometown anymore, so I don't really run into people, um, but I used to. For a while I was living um, near where I grew up, and um, once I actually uh, I ran into someone on the subway um, who I had gone to high school with, and this was someone who... Um, you know how, well for us anyway, we always sat alphabetically in class, and so there was this one kid whose last name came right after my last name, and so he sat behind me in like every class. And um, I saw him uh, re pretty recently on the subway, and he looked right at me, and there was like no recognition in his face whatsoever. He just completely uh, didn't recognize me, so that was interesting. Um, so I wonder a lot, you know, if I if I were to see people, you know, if people would recognize me. Um, I guess there's there've been a couple other times when I've run into people where I've, um, you know, they don't recognize me right away, but then I say, "Oh, it's me," and then they go, "Oh." oh. Um, so yeah, there's been a couple people that I've told about transitioning, um, but. Yeah, mostly I just don't have a lot of communication with those people. Um, so, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. Sorry if it wasn't uh, hugely interesting or very long. Um, but I am on vacation, and so I'm a little distracted this week. Um, but yeah.
yeah, I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, Jess, I'm sorry I keep posting on your day. I'm going to try and be better about that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, have a good weekend, everybody. Have a good week, and I'll see you soon.